What's up? I'm going to show you from scratch how to make the best spaghetti sauce in the world. Outside of Italy, of course, because, you know. You'll need tomatoes, onions. You can use any color combo of bell peppers as you like. Just make sure you have yellow in there. Fresh cloves of garlic. You want some of that fresh basil. And this harmonious assortment of spices. Chop a yellow bell pepper. Literally all of that, like get all of that pepper in there. Then do half of each other pepper. Drop them in the pan with some olive oil. Let that fry on low for about five minutes while you peel an onion. Add it to the party. You're gonna to wanna to fry this on low to medium for about 10 to 15 minutes. You're not going for the totally fried onions and peppers, but as soon as your onions start to caramelize, you're gonna to wanna to throw in your tomatoes. Make sure you get as much liquid as possible out of the tomatoes. You'll see why in a minute. At this point in the recipe, your onions and peppers combined should be the same amount as your tomatoes. That's because you'll be adding in tomato paste. Now you're ready for your spices. We're doing salt, pepper, a little bit of thyme, a little sage. Add in lots of basil because it'll give your sauce a bold, heavy Italian dinner time taste and a bountiful amount of oregano because it'll complement the basil nicely with a flavorful, airy, more friendly taste. Yeah, you're gonna want a lot of that. You'll need a fine Italian red wine. Cook that for about 20 minutes or until most of the liquid evaporates. While that's cooking, leave some fresh basil. been cooking into a blender. Throw in a couple mini cans of tomato paste, or one normal size can of tomato paste. It also works, you know. Before you blend it, throw in another small raw onion. This will add to the flavor dynamic of your sauce. Yeah, flavor dynamic, definitely. Look at that. Just when you thought you were done, with the ingredients, we got olives, garlic, and more fresh motherfucking basil. Let's go. This is a personal preference, but you're going to be cooking the blend for at least another 20 minutes. I like having bits of cooked olives and garlic in the final sauce, as well as some basil leaf here and there. So I just chopped it all up, and I'm going to drop it into the sauce right afterwards. Put that on low for at least 20 minutes. Let's make some meatballs from scratch. Let's start with the earthy egg mixture. We're doing two eggs, sage, touch of cumin, I mean a touch of cumin. Cumin's very overpowering so you want it to be just a barely noticeable flavor in the background. Just add some complexity. So you're just going to go ahead and put in a nice little touch. Black pepper, red pepper. Pizza hot! <laughs> So the first time I learned how to make meatballs, I was like, what the f***? Milk? No, I'm not doing that. But it's actually a very necessary ingredient to ensure good, healthy, enjoyable balls. You'll need some Parmesan cheese. This is a mixture of finely chopped onions, garlic, basil leaf, and red pepper fried up in some of that olive oil. Now for the breadcrumbs. You can use any type of bread you like. I took sourdough, toasted it till it was almost crispy, then blended the f out of it, poured it in the mixture. Cook the meatballs on medium low, five to seven minutes on each side, or until each side is almost crispy. To ensure they're cooked all the way through, there's a number of things you can do. A lot of that involves cooking them in the oven. I just throw a lid on, cook them for five to seven minutes on each side, then I throw some of that obnoxious spaghetti sauce in there, pour a little bit of red wine in there just to get more liquid in the pan, and have a nice little sip myself. I slow cook that with the lid for about 20 minutes.
If you're into spaghetti and wine, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Every video I post, you'll learn something that'll make your life more fun or just be entertained. So be sure to hit the subscribe button.